It doesn't seem to be going well at Neuralink. As if Elon Musk businesses needed any more drama, another of Neuralink's co-founders has left the troubled Neurotech firm, joining a slow exodus of executives. Welcome to First Class Tech, and in this video, we'll take a look at why Neuralink co-founder departed from Elon Musk's brain implant startup. Curious to know? Let's find out. According to Reuters, Paul Marola's departure makes him the sixth of the brain implant company's eight co-founders to leave in the last few years, which doesn't seem like a good sign for the company Musk promised would be a Fitbit in your skull. Two people familiar with the situation told Reuters that Marola, a deep machine learning expert according to his website, had left the company. The reasons for his departure are currently unknown. Despite the lack of specifics about Marola's departure, there is a lot of evidence that Neuralink, which was founded in 2016, is struggling to gain the traction of Tesla or SpaceX. He stated that he had decided to leave Neuralink in order to pursue a new project that is still in stealth mode. Mirola stated that leaving the company he helped found was a difficult decision. I hope to work with Neuralink again in some capacity, and I look forward to seeing how our work improves the lives of patients suffering from brain injury, he wrote. According to two sources familiar with the situation, Neuralink has now lost six of its eight founding members, leaving only Musk and engineer Dongjin DJ CEO. Neuralink is developing an artificial intelligence chip that could be implanted in a person's skull, with electrodes fanning out into the brain. These electrodes could monitor and possibly stimulate brain activity. According to the company, the first case it is working on is allowing quadriplegic people to control digital devices with their mind. Musk has touted the technology's more far-fetched future applications, claiming that it could facilitate symbiosis between humans and artificial intelligence. Human trials have yet to begin for Neuralink. During a live interview in December 2021, Musk stated that the company hopes to begin human testing in 2022. He previously stated that the company could begin human trials in 2020 or 2021. Stat reported in 2020 that the company was dealing with rushed deadlines and unexpectedly killed projects, and that several other company co-founders had already left. Former employees have complained about working conditions at the company, which has been accused of abusing primate subjects and claiming that 21% of its brain hack monkeys died due to implant issues. Last year, Neuralink president Max Hodak abruptly left the company, shrouded in mystery, leaving the company even more unmoored. I no longer work at Neuralink. I learned a lot and am still a huge fan of the company. Onward to new adventures. Hodak, who was also president at the time, stated on Twitter. Hodak did not explain why he left the company on Saturday. However, he responded to another user who stated that it appeared too early for Hodak to leave because Neuralink does not have a single product on the market. Same, Hodak said. In 2019, Hodak and Musk announced that Neuralink had implanted a chip into a monkey, allowing it to control a computer with its brain. During the announcement, Musk stated that the chip had enabled a monkey to control a computer. I didn't realize we were running that result today, Hodak explained. Musk stated in February that a monkey implanted with the implant could now play video games. Since 2002, scientists have been able to control computer cursors with their brains, according to Insider. The company was founded in 2016 and is headquartered in Fremont, California. Its filings with the California Secretary of State named Musk as CEO, but do not mention Hodak. According to his LinkedIn profile, Hodak studied biomedical engineering at Duke University. In early April, Hodak stated that if we wanted to, someone could probably build a real-world Jurassic Park. On Saturday, a Twitter user asked him, what's next? It's not Jurassic Park, Hodak responded. Hodak went on to found his own vaguely described neurotech startup, Science Corp, and hired some high-ranking Neuralink employees in 2021. Early in 2022, he invested in another Neuralink competitor, Synchron, which beat Musk's company to be the first in the United States to implant a brain-computer interface into human patients. Chaos is unavoidable in Musk's ventures. However, it is unclear how much longer Neuralink can withstand unless it advances in human implants. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic. 
Neuralink also demonstrated the ability to accurately predict the location of the pink's limbs by interpreting the neural data that the link was receiving. Reading and understanding someone's intentions for moving a limb can potentially be used to restore movement to someone who is paralyzed. But they're not just interested in reading data. They also demonstrated that each data channel can write or trigger neurons by emitting an electrical charge. Again, this could be used to treat a wide range of conditions. Consider a world in which blindness and deafness are reversible. Alternatively, never forgetting a name, face, or date. That's what Elon Musk and his Neuralink team are aiming for. But is it the future of humanity or just a pipe dream? The overall presentation was impressive and demonstrated their product design methodology, which includes developing a system that is safe and easy to install, a noticeable when installed and safe to remove or upgrade. But now is the time to emphasize what Neuralink is not. It is still early in the process of translating decades of research into a functional consumer product. Their initial goal is to use their technology to help people who have lost their independence due to paralysis or other injuries. The ability to think about typing a message on your phone and have it actually do it. Think about what you want to do on a computer and it will be done. By no means is Neuralink alone in this field. Companies like Paradromics in Austin, Texas are also attempting to assist people suffering from conditions such as paralysis or blindness. Or Neurable, a Boston-based startup focusing on EEG-style devices to control computer interfaces via a pair of brain-sensing consumer headphones. Bios from the United Kingdom is a more direct competitor, with a similar implant technology to help enhance and improve various health conditions. The main distinction between the other companies and Neuralink is their approach and vision. It's run with a bit of controlled chaos, just like every other of Elon's companies an incredible pressure cooker with an engineering focus and first principles thinking. And delivering on accelerated timelines allegedly caused some internal strife, particularly among those more accustomed to the methodical scientific research approach. Following their most recent public event, there were a few notable criticisms of the event for exaggerating what is possible. MIT Technology Review dubbed it Neuroscience Theater because none of what they saw proposed for the future is currently feasible. And what Neuralink did demonstrate was not new or groundbreaking in the field of BCI research. While none of the criticisms are wrong, many of them overlooked some of the presentation's nuances. The presentation was mentioned several times as a recruiting tool for more researchers, doctors, and engineers, motivating those who want to be a part of shaping the future to join the team. It wasn't intended as a demonstration to get the general public excited about getting one implanted into their heads the next day. Elon also made numerous references to other consumer products. For example, Neuralink has over 100 times the number of data channels as the next best consumer device. Going from research to product is a huge step, especially in the medical field. So we're still years, if not decades, away from achieving more of the lofty goals. Trying to bring a product from the lab to market is a Herculean task for Neuralink. The fact that we are only at the beginning of the journey toward mapping the human brain and potentially curing diseases and disabilities is inspiring. Although Neuralink is not yet revolutionizing specific BCI research, they are tackling the engineering feat of making it a reality. However, some of the potential down the road is both terrifying and amazing. What will it mean if you can offload memories or load memories that aren't even ours? And like a fabricated memory, the line between what's real and what's not becomes increasingly blurred. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. What do you think about the future of Neuralink? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the